All right, we're going to have three title matches now that we are going to discuss. Um, first one will be a double title, basic winner take all, take all, excuse me, tag team title match. IWGP World Tag Team Champions, Bishamon, Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, the reigning three-time World Tag League winners. Uh, no tag team has ever done that. Won three tag leagues in a row. They're going to take on the team that they basically split matches in the World Tag League with. Uh, a branch of Girls Destiny featuring the strong open way tag team titles, Hikaleo and El Phantasmo. Um, these two were in the same block at World Tag League. Where um, Hikaleo and El Phantasmo actually won the block match. But... Bishamon won the match that count for the finals. Bishamon says, you know what? Let's settle the one and one score. Winner take all for Wrestle Kingdom. So that's what we got. Um, I do know there's going to be two teams really interested in how this match goes. I mentioned this in an earlier video, but another branch of Bullet Club with Alice Coughlin and Gabe Kidd. They might be paying very close attention to this match. Another team that might be paying close attention to this match will be another team that actually the champions lost to during World Tag League. Team of Monster Sauce between of Lance Archer and Alex Zane. But that could be for a future title match. Maybe at Battle of the Valley or maybe at New Beginning. Who knows? We'll have to see who wins this match. But I tell you what, ever since... COVID came out, Yosh and Yoshihashi and Hiroki Goto especially have tagged up. It doesn't matter if it was never open way six man or now at the tag league, they have been on point. Uh, coming out of the COVID break, Yoshihashi has got to arguably be one of the best, most improved wrestlers from 2020 to now. If you go, you know, pre COVID to post COVID, you know, there's one other man I'm going to discuss here that I think could very easily also be in that discussion, but. Very evenly matched. Um, Hickley off, you know, girls definitely got two very diff distinct styles in their tag team. Hickaleo being a big power, six foot nine, almost seven foot guy, the young, the little brother, younger brother, if you more I could term up. The girls, girls of Destiny, Tomatonga, and Tonga Loa. And El Fantasma, who you know, was kicked out of Bullet Club, I believe right before Best of Super Juniors or late last year, even. And earlier this year, Grills of Destiny basically extended the Olive Branch, brought him in, and here we are. You know, the, um, Phantasma Hikaleo especially have taken off as a tag team. Like I said, won the strong open weight tag team titles, finished runner-up for World Tag League, so they've taken off. Um, this is going to be a very even match. I think I give the champions a little bit of an edge just because the champions have done really well at um wrestle kingdom in the past past couple years um like i said their previous two title chances for winning world tag league at wrestling have come out on the positive end for them very hard to see why they can't make it three in a row for that but it glow fantastic like i said they you know i believe it was either the first or second night of block action during world tag league so very good matchup very even matchup there's really not I should say, and I don't want to waste too much time in this match because the next match is one I really want to discuss more. And let's get right to it. It is for the junior heavyweight take or junior heavyweight title, excuse me. Uh, two longtime rivals, two rivals, especially coming out of COVID. Uh, Harumu, Harumu Takahashi defends against El Desperado. These two are actually part, actually, these two have faced for the heavyweight title in some shape or form the last three Wrestle Kingdoms, so this will be the third in a row. They met in a singles match, not last year, the year before. And Desperado got the win there in a what is you can call a quote Hiromu style match. Vast pace, you know, hard hitting. No no slowing down, no breathe, you know, his action for 15, 20 minutes nonstop. Last year they met in a fatal four-way with Taiji Jamori and Master Wado also involved. And Harumu got the one pinning Master Wado. So, uh, so Harumu wants a little bit of, I'm sure, get back for losing the wrestling game two years ago to Despi. Despi, who was a guy who didn't, 
think see himself as a face of junior heavyweight pre-covid post-covid he won the belt and all of a sudden he took off like a rocket ship with the junior heavyweight title these two have had some fantastic matchups coming out of the covid break um one match i do recommend you guys going if you can if you can log on to new japan rolls and go back to watch best of super junior final from i believe it was 2020 or 2021 El Desperado against Harumu Takahashi. It was a fantastic finals match. And really got Desperado. I think the Rocket really got into Desperado with that match. And that's where he kind of see The C's got planned for him being a star in this junior heavyweight. And someone who could really carry this junior heavyweight division. Alongside Harumu and even Ishimori. Kind of a three-headed monster right there. With those three when healthy. Very few are better than them. And they always produce in the ring, especially when they're against each other. So, I think this match will be, can Desperado maybe go with his style? You know, he's a very good submission, very good mat wrestler. Uh, can he kind of keep Hiromu grounded? You know, yeah, even though two years ago he was able to beat Hiromu in a Hiromu style match. But if you go to that super, to that um, junior, ta or junior, that's the super juniors, there we go, from 20. 20 they face in a block match and Desperado kept Hiromu grounded got got him off his feet got the win there and I think that's going to be his game plan for this um so definitely something to work out I actually want to go do this but Hiromu gave a very very interesting interview as to why he picked Desperado for his opponent at Wrestle Kingdom and what this match kind of means to him is a I saw little clips of it on Twitter slash X, whatever you want to call it. It's a very good interview. Ooh. And no shots were, these two were kind of firing shots at each other. Kind of no surprise. Pick, pick them. You know, pick your favorite. Ride that coattail. You can't go wrong with either guy. Uh, you know, we could maybe see a f something in the future as well. You know, these two could probably go on for a half hour. This match could go for a half hour. This match could go 15 minutes. Could go five minutes, and it's going to produce either way. Barring any, you know, injury or anything like that to anyone. But, pick them. I, I know Hiroma really wants the record for most title defenses in a single ring, which I believe is 11. So, either 11 or 12 for the junior heavyweight. I know he's gunning for that. That's his goal, and, you know... Desperado's not going to make it easy. I can easily see Desperado winning this just as much, just as easy. I can see Hiromu defend or retaining the title in this match. It's going to be who can play to their style and to their strength. Next match, we have a new champion being unveiled here in a three way match. It's going to be the IWGP Global Champion with Will Ospreay, John Moxley, and David Finley. Seeds for this match really got started. Uh, I got a look at when the last um, Will Ospreay Shoto match for the IWGP US slash UK title was. I believe that was that power struggle back in October. But after Osprey beat Umino, Moxley came out, kind of did a confront in him. Also, next thing we know, David Finley comes out, right, smashes both titles, damages both titles so, so severely, made a new one, and kind of inserted himself into this situation. It's going to be a very interesting to see how this match goes with Finley currently under contract for New Japan as a New Japan guy. And Moxley Will Ospreay now with AEW. Both of them are. So very interesting to see how this match goes. Um, I do think the three-way style kind of fits Mox a little bit better because he has that wild style to him. And I think that favors him. Um, of course, with Moxley and Ospreay, it sees for this goal back, I believe... Capital Collision, I believe, 2022 when they fought for the U.S. title and Osprey kicked out of a Death Rider, I believe it was from Moxley, but the rest hand hit three, did not count the kick out. And so, seats for those two, at least, have been set a long time ago, and David Finley kind of inserted himself in. So, very interesting. You know, I think Finley has a very good chance of maybe backdooring either Moxley or Osprey. Because I know you know Moxley and Osprey are going to go after each other very hard in this match. Um, you know, this is going to be 
this action in this ma in the global title, the three wing, probably just as fast, could be just as fast paced as that previous match for the junior heavyweight title. We'll have to kind of see what styles come out here. Um, I can see Mox picking up the win. I can see Osprey. I can see Finn. I can see all three of these guys picking up wins here, but it's going to be a wild match. About all I can say, about all I can say for a preview of this. So that's going to wrap up this match. Two matches left. The semi main event and the main event. We will cover that next. And then if I don't do it today, I'll do it sometime later this week. Kind of what I think may come after Wrestle Kingdom. And I may wait till after Wrestle Kingdom, kind of see what Wrestle Kingdom results are. And I might wait to see what happens at New Year's Dash on the 5th. So I may do this on like the 6th or 7th. So, but I'll see you guys in a bit for the semi main event and the main event preview. All right.